as you may have heard, because some of you are already writing in, don't worry, we're covering it. Chris Evans accidentally shared a nude photo on Instagram over the weekend. The Captain America actor posted a video of some friends playing a game, which ended with a shot of his camera roll. That included a nude picture. Yeah, the video was quickly deleted. Chris's brother made fun of the mishap, tweeting, was off social media for the day yesterday, so what I'd miss. Some fans were sympathetic, posting pics of Chris and his dog rather than sharing a screenshot of the image. But actress Kat Dennings tweeted, the public respect for Chris Evans, privacy and feelings is wonderful. Wouldn't it be nice if it extended to women when this kind of thing happens. So Al, do you think that this is a double standard? Yeah, it, it was a double standard I didn't even recognize. I mean, this is just an embarrassing thing and I think a lot of people uh, kind of empathize with Chris Evans because you know, we all have social media and we all have these devices, but we don't know exactly what they do. Like, I have a friend of mine that was, who's happily married and sent some photos to his wife and mm. she sent some back and they didn't realize that they go to the family uh, iPad that their kids use because they're on the family iCloud sharing plan. So Wait, the iCloud goes to all the computers? Yes, unless you disable that. And see, your confusion was their confusion, oh, which was my what? confusion. So we have this technology and we don't really understand. How, so I think a lot of us saw a little bit of us in Chris Evans. Or, oh a lot, or a boy. lot of us. Uh, Jeff, did you, well, first of all, I want your thoughts, Jeff. And second, did you know, I thought the cloud, I get it, it stores things, it's somewhere up there, mm -hmm. I, whatever, but I didn't realize that it automatically goes to everyone's devices yeah, in the, the household. The photos rain back down. I didn't understand yes. that it rained back down, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. If you have Apple everything, it goes to all your Apple devices, right? So if your kid has a little Apple iPad or you have an Apple, like, desktop, it's going to go on there unless you shut it off. So, that's a, that's a good one, Al, to keep an eye on. But my question is, why do you have these pictures on your phone in the first place? We know what day and age we live in. We know having naked pictures of you, especially if you're a superstar like Chris Evans, why are these on your phone? I, it does, I don't understand it. Yeah, but uh, listen, I, I fully understand where you're coming from because yeah, you do want to be super cautious. And in this day and age, you should be super cautious. And I'm going to teach my children just that. Um, however, I, listen, this happened to Kat Dennings, right? Kat Dennings was in a long-term relationship. Uh, she's the one that, that commented about the double standard. Mm -hmm. And then that whole um, hack happened. Do you remember that? Like a yes. handful of years ago. And I remember everybody that. blasted out her photo. Nobody was being sympathetic to her. Nobody was trying to like block the screenshots by posting pictures of her and her dog. So I agree with you with the double standard. But... I think the conversation should be how do we prevent these hackers rather than don't post a photo. Well, I think look, and we're, we're starting we're starting that, year Jeff? four. Jeff, let me defend you really quickly. We're starting year four, surprise, surprise. and so and no, and so I'm sure a lot of viewers <laughs> are like, okay, Jeff. I'm sure I remember arguing with Jeff in season one about this because I was like, no, take the photos, keep it spicy if you're in a long distance relationship. And Jeff was like, no, because once they get out, it's out of your control. And we have covered stories where people have been unfortunately a victim of revenge porn or something like this. And it does come when you once you take that photo. But then and you're put blaming it, the victim. I get it. Like I'm uh, not going to put my purse well, in the front seat for everybody to see because then they're going to break my window and grab my purse. Right. Or at, le at least it makes it more tempting. So I understand it. Believe me, I do. But I don't want the main narrative to be blaming the victim. No, you can victimize yourself like uh, like Chris Evans did. He's the one that victimized himself. I mean, it just it can be a mistake or on purpose. But either way, they're out there. Yeah. Good point. I like the conversation. I love, I love it that in 2020. No, I just love that in 2020, me saying don't take naked photos of yourself needs a defense. <laughs> that, that's great. <laughs>